<laughs> no, my wheelie's out. Your wheelie's not out. Look, do you have a coat in your bum? Okay. <laughs> I want to show you, but I don't want to show them. We should do a room tour <laughs> today. So, this is our humble abode. <laughs> we did a big clean up yesterday, so. Um, it's actually so clean, Laura. <laughs> it's so fucked. Um, Honestly. I got my hair done also, as well. <laughs> I love the big yellow stain on the wall, like what is that? Yeah, so this is our room anyway, so this is like our living room area. Over here is our, the dry cleaners. Uh, we get them professionally dried, eye knickers and stuff. <laughs> like there's my dinner from last night. Oh! Wow! Oh my god, the state of the room. What'd you say, Nick? The state of the room. I know. Very bad. When you do the, um, the, this is what our room really is. We can have both had a shower. Oh my god, yeah. We'll and have makeup on. Clean. Ew. Wait, so this can go in this bin, right? No, that's the green bin. That's the green bin. And the cans. The cans go in the green bin, but oh, yeah, I'll empty them in the, in the sink first. Oh, there's the speaker. Where did you come from? Where is he? Literally. Just oh. out of nowhere. The little man. Bluetooth mode. Any reply showing? Fuck yes. Oh my god. Do you think it's him? Surely not. Yeah, she probably knows it's a prank call because like it's something we do. Oh my god, I actually terrifying. I look like a zombie. Ah, yeah, I've literally been hung over for the past three days, I'd say. We've been sitting in the darkness and ordering delivery to our room to try to cure ourselves. Since uh, loft lockdown has been lifted, we've just been obviously getting absolutely twisted. So today we're gonna have a productive wholesome day. I wanna go to Beyond Retro to get some clothes because I don't have any, like, I don't know, I just wanna get new stuff for the winter. I wanna get two new coats. I need a new puffer coat as well because I gave mine to Emer and I don't really like it anymore because it just reminds me of my ex, you know that kind of way? I also got my lips done <laughs> yesterday, the day before, two days ago. So as you can see, they're a bit bruised. I got them and you're not supposed to drink when you first get your lips done. And I went out that night and I remember lying in bed and I thought my lips were going to explode. I literally thought they were about to burst open. So very bad, don't recommend that. I'm gonna make a little list now too. Like we don't have any food in the house or anything. We wanna get a Christmas tree. I wanna get candles because one of the lads here was drinking book fast the other night and I wanna have make candles out of these beyond retro. There's a big one down the road for me. And then I get pics developed, tattoo, food shop also. I need to get detergent too. Flowers? New flowers. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm still a bit brain dead, to be honest. I need to drink a lot of water. I haven't eaten today either. So I might make some food. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Do you want to give um, a... I'm snotty nose. Do you want to give a, a haul of what you got in, in boots? Oh, yeah. Okay, so... I got this from my bum. <laughs> <laughs> she has an happy rash. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got this. Oh, fuck. So many. What is the song? It doesn't hold in the back. So I got this. And then I got Twisted Sister. So this, I'm actually gonna try it. Try it now, yeah. Well, I'm on camera, you know? Yeah, fuck it. And then I just got some red lipstick liner and some makeup wipes. Great. Feeling this guy looks so nice. Yeah, I know. Why is my, I need a new camera though. Feeling yeah, Noon. Let me do it, Noon. Oh, this is so chocolatey. Go on, you good thing. I wonder what they were saying about us in there. I know. So awkward. There was this couple literally just staring at us. And I had my mask on and my sunglasses so you couldn't see a thing. But I, they couldn't see that I was staring at them. But I was still staring at them and they were completely whispering about us. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were just like, oh, they're Irish. No, they're probably like, they look fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Like, you always just twi twi twisted. They were complimenting us. Yeah. You take that, will you? Yeah. Now. <laughs> What's the best that's gonna make my hair look like my dog? Oh, I think <laughs> way too much in. Oh, no. No, but you want a kind of wet looking, don't you? Yeah. The spray is weird. It's coming out in like a straight line. It looks good. Well, it ha obviously, I don't know if it's worked yet. Like, try scrunch it. Like, do this. No, I don't want to oh look at this. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Okay. <gasps> oh, Jerry! Oh, her, her eyes are half closed. Ah. Oh, noon. My hair. Fluffy noon. Oh. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Molly. Molly. The cutie. The cowboy hat I have. Oh, Cherry and Retari look unreal. <laughs> oh, you look stunning. <laughs> oh, my God. Cherry looks absolutely unbelievable. Oh, my God. She looks like a Oh, that's a quad. 
I look fucked. You look. I look fucked. Oh. Joe. Oh, legend. Cherry. For Cherry. Me and a quad. Oh, that's an unbelievable picture. That's deadly. Oh, that's such a good one. Oh, we Moon. like that. You look great. Legend. Oh. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that's Lola. Oh, I like that one. Yes, Kevers. Oh, oh Sarah. Oh, Kevers. Oh, Tom. That's you and Sarah. Georgie. Lydia and Karen. Kev. Oh, my God. Fuck. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It looks like your hair is like that on purpose. Like you do that on purpose. Oh. My, are you messing? Oh my god, I have to put that. You up. have to put that up. It's oh iconic. Oh my god. Oh, I love that one. Oh, it looks skinny. A skinny legend. Oh, that's a cute picture. That's a very cute photo. Oh my god. They're all unbelievable. Oh my. Uh, fuck. Nah. No. I actually look like I'm dying. Yeah, I didn't sleep at all last night. I have no idea why my anxiety is just very bad at the moment because I've been just go, been going out and drinking a lot. So I'm trying to go off it now until I go to back to Ireland. That's the plan. So I'm going out for lunch today in Brixton. So I'm going to not drink. I'm going to cut my hair, put tan on to make myself feel better. Get ready, wear my new coat. I'll show you what clothes I got actually yesterday in Beyond Retro as well. Yeah, that's about it. This is, wait, this is the outfit, you see it? But it gets better, it gets better. Wait, the actual fuck. Lizzie McGuire, eat your heart out. I think maybe the top doesn't go though. I'm just having one of those days where my period's due, so I just feel like a fat piece of shit. It, literally anything I wear or how I do my makeup, I'm impulsive. Nice. Uh, I'm probably gonna change six more times and come back to you. Next stop. not actually quite sure what I recorded this morning of me talking about. I haven't slept at all for absolutely no reason. We had like three jugs of beer. Jugs, yeah, we drink. <coughs> beer. Then I came home, like I was in bed relatively early. We made instant noodles, had a chat and went to sleep. Like usually me and Emer stay up till like 5 a.m. doing prank calls on people, you know, doing funny stuff like uh, what you do in a, at a sleepover with your cousin. But we totally just went to sleep and I was just lying there face up at the ceiling like this. But it also could be that well, basically, what I was saying, because I couldn't sleep, I went on a rampage on my phone. So I don't have the unfollow app now, and I don't, I wouldn't usually care about this. Obviously, it's very hard for me to notice if someone unfollows me. But for some reason, I had this weird inkling that this guy I used to fancy unfollowed me. So I went through, like, every single guy I've ever had sex with. Now, I have noticed that one guy I did have sex with has unfollowed me. That did give me a bit of anxiety and then someone else that I used to fancy did unfollow me as well So then it was running through my head. Oh my god. I'm a piece of shit. I'm so annoying. Everyone hates me And then I went I decided actually the worst idea of all time I decided to go through my stories archive and then it was just like oh me and my ex having fun and being in love a year ago So yeah, that made me feel like shit as well So all around not having a great time and then it, to top it all off I realized oh, do you know what my period's a week late. Do you think I know who the dad is? Nope. Yeah, so that's fun. I'm straight fine. I tried to journal out my feelings there and write a to-do list, but I am completely and utterly incapable of doing anything of substance. Running off zero sleep, made myself a coffee, that's about it. I did journal a page, but I wrote down at the bottom of it, stop drinking. So I think that obviously drink is an antidepressant, or an antidepressant. Whoa, brainwashed. Drinking is obviously depressant, so I've decided I'm not going to drink. Let's see how long that lasts. I will be sucked into it. But I think it's harder not to drink when you've just moved to a new country because the main way you make friends is like going out and drinking. You know, that's how you make friends, especially Irish people. We're all banding together, we're all like, let's fucking ruin our insides. That's what I've been doing for the past while. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm having an absolute ball. But then it gets to the morning time, and I'm like, oh, don't really like myself, fuck. How do I fix this? And then it's a vicious cycle because you keep drinking again. So I've decided not to drink. I do have a good, good few friends now that I can meet up with sober. Fantastic. I am going home now in 10 days. So that is also going to be an issue because everyone's going to want a session. Now, I do also have Reese, my best friend, who has been off it. He's been off it. So I plan 
to spend a few nights in his house. Not to be complaining, but as well because, you know, this is the kind of stuff you ask for if you move to a new uh, country. But I've gotten new, I've been signed to like a PR thing. And then I've also gotten a contract for three new sponsorships, like multiple ones for a few months long. And I'm just thinking to myself, are you sure? Like, are you sure you want to give it to me? I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I'm pretty unhinged. I'm on the brink now of falling off the face of the earth, but can't do that obviously because that's how I make money and pay my rent. I'm gonna spend the day tomorrow, I think, listening to a podcast, doing a bit of painting. I might go for a walk. Fuck it, girls. So I'm off it. If you see me drinking in the next part of the vlog, text me and give out to me. That's it. Anyway, thanks. So what are we here for? We have to celebrate. Oh yay! Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, yeah. oh, god. <laughs> Stop me wrapping this myself! Now you can see me. Now you see me? Nerd. Shake what your mommy gave you, alright? But I'll give you the rainbow and I swear my punan is like a pot of gold! <laughs> Oh fuck! Crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh fuck! I can't hear anything. Happy day! <laughs> oh my god, you're such a mom. Shit! <laughs> What'd you say, Nick? Lock up your sons. <laughs> <laughs>